Welcome to AI News Daily, your source for all things artificial intelligence. I'm Sam, here to bring you the latest updates and insights from the world of AI. Let's dive in and explore today's top stories. Today, we're starting with some exciting advancements from UC Berkeley. The Nova Sky team has managed to create an open source reasoning model called Sky T132B Preview that rivals earlier versions of OpenAI's O1. What's truly remarkable is that this was achieved with a mere $450 training budget over just 19 hours. Sky T1 is built off Alibaba's Quen 2.5-3 2-Instruct and excels particularly in mathematics and coding challenges. This open source model covers the entire pipeline, ensuring transparency and accessibility for researchers worldwide. It's a significant step for open source AI, demonstrating that high quality models can be developed affordably. This could pave the way for more innovation from budget constrained labs. What are your thoughts on this new development? I'd love to hear in the comments. Switching gears to OpenAI, it seems they're making a notable move back into the robotics space. After shutting down their robotics team in 2020, OpenAI is now seeking to build its own custom robots, as indicated by their recent job postings. Caitlin Kalinowski, formerly of Meta, is leading this renewed effort. OpenAI is looking to develop general-purpose robots that can operate in real-world settings, which suggests that they are aiming for a diverse range of robotic applications. This could mean significant advancements in how AI interacts with the physical world, potentially enhancing the capabilities of AI systems. It's an exciting development as OpenAI continues to push the boundaries of artificial intelligence. Now, let's talk about the workforce. The World Economic Forum has released its 2025 Future of Jobs report, highlighting AI's substantial impact on employment. By 2030, 86% of organizations expect AI to transform their operations, creating 11 million jobs while displacing 9 million. The demand for data specialists and AI ML experts is expected to skyrocket, with three quarters of businesses planning to upskill current employees. However, while AI offers great opportunities, it also poses challenges, as 40% of companies anticipate needing smaller workforces due to AI efficiencies. This report underscores the urgency for industries to adapt, preparing both their technology and talent strategies for the AI driven changes ahead. It's now time for some rapid-fire news. Let's jump into some quick hits. Elon Musk recently mentioned in an interview that AI has exhausted the current human training data available. Consequently, companies are moving towards using AI-generated synthetic data for future model training. NVIDIA has introduced an AI blueprint designed for retail shopping assistants. This innovation allows AI-driven digital retail agents to handle text and image queries while visualizing products in virtual showrooms. AMD researchers have introduced Agent Laboratory, a framework using LLM agents to assist with research tasks like literature reviews and report writing, reducing costs by 84% compared to older methods. According to Mark Zuckerberg, AI is set to automate the roles of mid-level engineers this year. Meta aims to eventually transition all coding responsibilities to artificial intelligence. Savannah Feeder has launched Astral, an automated AI marketing platform capable of managing social media interactions and content creation on platforms like Reddit. A Bloomberg Intelligence report predicts that AI could lead to over 200,000 job reductions on Wall Street in the next three to five years, with technology improving productivity and boosting banking profits by up to 17%. That's all for today's episode of AI News Daily. I hope you enjoyed our deep dive into the latest from the AI world. As always, I welcome your thoughts and comments. I'll be back tomorrow with more updates and insights from the frontier of artificial intelligence. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring. See you tomorrow.